Welcome everyone. My name is Rob Savat and this is Susanna Fafaro and together we are the Poly Board Co-Chairs. And on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we want to welcome everybody tonight to the installation of Odris Barzdukas as Poly Prep's next head of school. Tonight is a very special occasion. First, because it happens rarely. Odrius tonight will become the 10th head of school in our 162 year history. Odrius will be building on the shoulders of such visionary giants as Dr. Francis Lane, who at the turn of the century advocated for moving Polly from Brooklyn Heights to Diker Heights. He envisioned the school of the future, and in his words, established in a modern building placed on a site removed from the noise of the city with spacious grounds adjacent where there would be room for all kinds of wholesome sport the year round. It was Dr. Joseph Dana Allen, Poly 6th head of school, who oversaw the opening of the Diker Heights campus September 1917. And, in Dr. Allen, and, it, and, it, and it is Dr. Allen's words that we still reflect today as we educate the whole student. Dr. Allen stated, the school aims to develop mentality, physique, and character. But because the first of these are menaces, without the last, the greatest of these is character. J. Falwell Skull succeeded Dr. Allen in 1949 and served for more than 20 years. He oversaw and established the new and enlarged Joseph Dana Allen Library, and he was a strong advocate for both performing arts and athletics. In 1970, Bill Williams set new benchmarks. He oversaw the transformation of Poly into a co-ed institution and opened our beautiful lower school. In 2000, David Harmon became the ninth head of school and presided over the strengthening of the academic programs as well as the additions to the physical plant. Today marks the most important function we have in our service to Poly, the hiring of our head of school. We stand before you tonight, confident that we have the right leader in Odrius. Following a nationwide search, we found Odrius on the West Coast, where he, where he was the associate head of school and head of the upper school at Harvard Westlake in Los Angeles, California. What impressed us more than his resume, his thoughtfulness, and his enthusiasm was what we saw and what we heard when we spoke to everybody at his school. Every person we interviewed spoke about Odrius's commitment to education and that he's a true scholar. They shared that he had the utmost respect for the faculty and in him the faculty had a staunch ally. We heard about his integrity and his ability to build consensus and his inspiration of others. These characteristics will serve him well because at Poly Prep we strive every day to prepare, our, to prepare and inspire our students to be leaders, global citizens, to act with intelligence, imagination, and above all, character. Poly Prep is a proud and resilient institution where we plan for the future but will always uphold the traditions of our past. Odris, we are entrusting you to care for a school that means so much to everyone here tonight. It means so much to the families who sent their kids to Bali and for those who send their children to our care daily. And it means so much to the proud alumni who see Poly Prep as one of the forces that helped shape them into who they are today. Shortly, you'll take an oath not to become our next leader, but to become the caretaker of our home. I want to thank everyone who's here tonight and those who couldn't make it. I want to thank you for welcoming Odrius, for welcoming Rose, their daughters Mila and Raza, and their son Remus, Poly Class of 2020. <laughs> and I want to thank you all for supporting Poly on our, as we chart our course for the future. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce Student Government President Sophie Rodney, class of 2017.
Hello to all students, faculty, parents, and alumni. My name is Sophie Rodney, and I am this year's student government president. I am so happy to be here tonight as we officially install Mr. Barzoukas into the position of head of school. I met with Mr. Barzoukas once last year during the search for a new head of school. In that meeting, Mr. Barzoukas spoke so passionately about making the necessary changes to our school while emphasizing the importance of tradition and maintaining our core poly values. He seemed to have a strong understanding of what makes poly so special from just a few visits. I knew right away that I wanted to work closely with him in the, in the next school year, and I'm so thankful that I now have the opportunity. I know that as more students get the chance to meet Mr. Barzoukas, they will be just as excited to see where his leadership will take us. Like Mr. Barzoukas, Vice President Trevor Nunez and I are new to our positions. And also like Mr. Barzoukas, we want to uphold all that is great about Polly and make it even better. In this next beginning, we are ready to support him, accept his support, learn from him, and work alongside him in an attempt to better the student experience at Poly. This evening, as the voice of the student body, I'm proud to explain the relationship we hope to build with the new administration. Firstly, we are looking forward to the administration being more involved in the daily life of the Poly student. Whether that be by joining us on the bleachers for sporting events, in the theater for performances, or even sitting in on classes, we are excited for the administration to be one with the students. While we receive daily support from our teachers, advisors, and peers, we still love to see administrators involved in our daily life as a reminder that we are all working towards the same goal. Secondly, we hope that there can be improved communication between the two groups. Student government is working on creating these open lines of communication so that more discussion can occur. By conversing more and sharing with, the, with each other our different ideas, we in the administration can make decisions that benefit both groups. Lastly, we are looking forward to learning more about your work, Mr. Barzoukas, and that of the administration. We want to be informed, to help, to collaborate with you, and support you as you officially become part of the Poly family. I think the biggest hope the Poly student body has of the new leadership is that we come together this year as one big team. I'm confident that Mr. Barzoukas is the leader we need to unite us and help create one poly proud community. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Renaco Taylor, and I teach Latin in the upper school, and I oversee the fencing program here at Poly. Throughout our lives, we often find ourselves looking up to our leaders, and sometimes it's because they're simply taller than us. <laughs> Even though this is true of our new leader, I confess that it is also true in a figurative sense. My first encounter with our new head of school was via mandatory internet stalking, <laughs> which was preparation for my interview with him. I'm sure you have all read the interview by now, since it's in the latest issue of the Poly Magazine. Definitely take a look at it. I happened to uncover quite a bit about him in the process. For example, in 1993, the New York Times referenced him as a sports scientist. I discovered that his name literally means, uh, when translated from the Lithuanian, stormy gnome. I even found his name attached to a handful of academic papers, one of which was written entirely in Lithuanian. Although I was able to find his name in Google Scholar, linked to topics on anaerobic respiration and swimming, and other such human aquatic endeavors, he's, he is still notably absent from the faculty swim club. Please consider this an official invitation to join. 
When I finally sat down to our interview, I was struck by his willingness to chat about himself and share things I could not have discovered through my internet sleuthing. Did you know that our new head of school is a SAG member? That's right, he is a member of the Screen Actors Guild. Out of all the surprises that I found, the most interesting ones seem to be the ones that he shared himself. Through our subsequent conversations, I have been privileged to bear witness to the head of school we have, and not the one that is referenced on the internet or written up in press releases. I assure you that the head of school we now have is substantially greater than whatever you may read. You must find him and have a chat with him. Make the time to do so, for in the times that we have met and conversed, I have truly been struck by his candor, his disposition for general analysis, and his circumspect nature. At this point, I am rather confident that these qualities help account for the stark consistency of his vision for our school. The same Polly we love, and over which we are but stewards. Altogether, he has a good grasp of who we are as a school, and he is committed to the continued success and vitality of our athletics, arts, and academic programs, as well as the faculty and staff that support these programs. In this way, we can continue to provide our students with great learning experiences that will help prepare them for an ever-changing world. I am sure that I speak for all of us when I say, Aldrius Mars Dukas, we are grateful that you have chosen to make Polly your new home, and we welcome you to our community. Thank you. And now I present our board co-chair, Dr. Ferfaro. Aldris, please stand in preparation for the Polly Oath. With me today, with us today, is Parsa Agazade, who's in fourth grade, and Parsa will be helping Rob with the vestments for our ceremony. So we'll start with our gray heads robe which is embroidered with the original poly seals. Now this navy stole lists the previous heads of school and the year they were installed. of Poly Prep Country Day School to the best of your ability, with integrity and honesty, and in keeping with the intentions of the school's founders, faculty, and leaders. I will. Will you faithfully execute your duties as head of school by providing an academic program that empowers Poly students to flourish while making a positive impact on the world? I will. Will you be an example of good and ethical character for the Poly community? and carry out your duties with integrity, compassion, and vigor. I will. Will you dedicate yourself to leading a diverse and inclusive community that embraces open, honest, and respectful communication? I will. And finally, will you, in keeping with Polyprep Country Day School's philosophy, inspire students to pursue excellence in mind, body, and spirit? I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you our new head of school.
very much. Although some of you may be questioning the new head of school's intelligence after putting on a robe and a stole in these, in these weather conditions. Thank you, Rob and Susanna, for your inspired leadership, generous counsel, your humor, and your perspective. We speak almost daily. Thank you, school trustees, for your stewardship and support of our school and your faith in me. I want to thank David Harmon, who led our school with compassion and vision for 16 years and upon whose great work I promised to build. Thank you, Sophie, for your words of wisdom beyond your years. And thank you, Renato, for your eloquence, your passion, and your intellect as a genuine educator. And Parsa, strong work carrying the road. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to my family, my parents, Arvidas and Daiva, who are here. You always encouraged us, your children, to pursue our dreams. Well, mine is coming true this evening. My lovely wife of 26 years, Rose, your support means everything to me. And my children, Mila, Rasa, and Rimas, you complete our lives. I want to thank our amazing maintenance staff our jewel of a campus. Our school looks so beautiful, and we're so grateful for the hard work and effort that you put into making it look that way every single day. I want to, thank, I want to say thank you to faculty and staff, and most importantly, thank you to students. Poly is one of America's great schools. And every day, from nursery through senior year, your work and dreams, your aspirations and efforts, your imagination and character make it stand among our nation's giants of early childhood, primary, and secondary education. And finally, thank you to our community for the warm welcome to me and my family. We've been overwhelmed with your graciousness, your generosity, your warmth of spirit. You've opened your hearts, your homes to us. You've helped us to get to know things about the Poly community. We've learned about your generous spirit and heart. We've learned that laughter and joy matter at Poly. We've learned that conversation matters, having something to say. And if you can say it with some wit, so much the better. We've learned that food matters at Bali a lot. <laughs> so a big thank you to Jeff and Lou, whose teams do such a great job feeding our children on both campuses every day. <laughs> I arrived the first week of July, determined to dive into the pulse of Brooklyn. I took the N and R train to school on July 5th, a day we set a heat record. We're going to have our first summer administrative meeting. Parts of that train run above the ground. And I remember watching bicyclists pedal past the train, heading in the same direction. I kept glancing at my watch nervously because I didn't want to be late for that first meeting. Across from me, a substantial man in jeans and a Jets t-shirt that barely covered the substance said, I wasn't sure if he said it to me, but he said it loudly. You know, NNR stands for never and rarely. <laughs> and I knew I was in Brooklyn. I hustled to the meeting from the 95th Street Station and arrived uh, sweating as if I had some kind of hemorrhagic fever. <laughs> Ten minutes into the meeting, people were wondering, does the new guy have some kind of glandular problem? <laughs> Vicki Bono, my miracle of an assistant, and our school's soul, walked in, uh, called a timeout in the meeting, and slipped me a dry t-shirt. <laughs> and I learned, I learned that at Poly, people are considerate, and they think on their feet, 
and they go the extra mile to help someone out in need, even if that need is only a dry shirt. I spent the summer meeting and getting to know faculty, administrators, trustees, and alumni. The depth of commitment, the intelligence, the care, and I don't use this word hastily, the love for this school were all inspiring. I learned that our faculty are smart, that they're committed, they care, they respect the craft of teaching, they care about raising children, and I'm proud to join them. And then this week, the students arrived and everything changed for the better. You know, a school, a school is just a collection of buildings until students, until students breathe life into it. And our students here at Poly are as live as any, as any I have ever met. Tuesday, the first day of school at the lower school. I was standing outside with Mr. Donovan, Mr. D, and that first kindergarten student arrived and ran from, ran the length of the block to give Mr. Donovan a big hug. Her parents gave him a hug. They gave me, the new guy, a big hug. Soon, the sidewalk in front of 50 Prospect Park was crowded with kids and parents, seemingly, seemingly all of them hugging each other. Right? Felt like 1969, Woodstock, the summer of love. <laughs> Younger faculty members, I'll explain that reference. <laughs> that great energy continued at our opening assembly on this campus. The kids roared when I told them that we had a dog, a pug named Vivian. I spoke to them about my love of reading and invited them to come see me anytime they wanted to discuss or commend a book. Okay, I learned that at Poly, you ask, you get. I have a legal pad now covered with book recommendations. I learned that Poly students extend their hand and they look you in the eye when they greet you. I learned that they believe there's no such thing as a stranger, just friends we haven't met yet. Through all of this, through my experience thus far, I've learned the most important lesson about Polly. Polly is a community. We are a community through thick and thin, and all that community means about relationships, about being there for each other, about the complexities, about embracing all that life has to offer, good, bad, mysterious, enlightening. This morning, up on the hill, we had a moving ceremony to commemorate the 15th anniversary of September 11 and the 11 members of our community who lost their lives in that tragedy. And we came together because communities come together to remember. Indeed, community, family, relationships are at the core of how we teach and what we do. Family, repartee, hugs and happiness, students extending their hand in greeting and friendship. Education at our school is built on relationships. Anyone who works in a school can tell you that education is not the transmission of information. Education is the transmission of inspiration. An inspiration, that mysterious meeting of human energies that awakens minds and imaginations to the great and important questions about life in the world. What's it for? How should it be lived? How can it be made better? How can we help? That can only happen in the context of authentic relationships. Math, science, history, these are only tools, only the means to inspire and get to know someone. For an adult who has wisdom and experience and knowledge to find a way to awaken a young person's heart, inspire their curiosity, and touch their soul they only use different tools in the different classes that they teach. 
the great lesson about education, about raising children, is that you can only teach, only touch hearts and open minds when you genuinely know your students. That's how we do it at Poly. That's how we're going to do it at Poly. We are a community. We are going to get to know each other better every single day. Today, officially, begins my relationship with our school. I want to get to know each and every one of you. I especially want to get to know the students. I want us to have an authentic relationship. There's an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Our community, we, our team, as Sophie called us, we are going to go far together. I look forward to working with you to make it happen every single day. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would now like to invite a cappella to perform to sing our school song. Worldwide fame, carry with them. 